We reviewed the Raptor, we reviewed the X10, now it's time for the final vehicle out of the three that were added in the latest Mad City update, the Blackout. We've got just enough coins to afford it, so in today's video we're going to be buying it, first impressions of it, trying it out for the first time, seeing how good it is, and is it worth 13,500 piggy tokens? We're going to answer that question today. Okay, so we've bought it, now let's give it a try, let's spawn it in. So here it is. First time spawning it. Oh, okay. So it's very thin. Look at that. Look how thin the other uh, front is. The front's like as wide as I am, which is really weird. The propeller looks interesting. We've got a thing on the front here. It's very neon. I assume that this will have an underglow that allows us to be customized. We've got a driver's seat and a turret. So just like the uh, the Cobra, I believe it is. We've got a turret on it. Let's get inside of it. And here it is. Interesting. So it's not letting me fly. I think it's linked to the plane physics. I think if you put it on basic and get in, there we go. Okay, so if we put it on basic, then we get inside. It looks like we have the buttons, but again, it's not working. I, I respawned it and now it's working. What? That's so strange. Uh, so you have to have it on basic plane physics and then you have to respawn the vehicle and then you'll be able to use it. If you've got it on advanced, it won't move. You won't have the option to go up and down. I believe that's something on PC as well. I feel like this is slow. <laughs> it's not that quick uh, to realize. It's, yeah, it's okay. It's not bad. I think it's just fast enough uh, to the point where you're kind of satisfied with it. But for 13 and a half thousand big tokens for 135 boss fights for free at least, yeah, this is pretty, uh, pretty slow. In terms of customization, we've got the skins, we've got the tint and the underglow. Underglow can, in fact, change the color, as you can see, uh, with the actual main thing. But yeah, we have invisibility mode. I, yeah, we can turn it off and on. The cooldown for it looks like it's 40 seconds for stealth. Pretty cool. It also has some missiles. But as you can see, the missiles don't work on mobile. Just like with the Raptor, the X10 works, but just like with the Raptor, these missiles do not work on mobile. Luckily, there's a bug to fix this. All you've got to do is get in and out of the Raider Z, and then we can get back in and it should work. There we go. So it looks like we've got eight missiles. Uh, we shoot them. Whoa. Okay. We can fire 12 missiles at once. Absolute barrage of just missiles. I really like that. That's really cool. Okay, now let's head into a public server, try it out on some other people. All right, so we're in a public server now. It looks like that's a criminal right there. So let's see if I can use my uh, missiles to see how much damage they do. Uh, looks like 15 on a vehicle. Interestingly, they're not locking on, which is kind of weird. I'm not sure if that's a bug or if that's intentional, uh, but it's not locking on at all. As you can see, we've got the default helicopter here. I'm faster than this one, but only just. It's not that much in it compared to the free helicopter and my one. As you can see, I am overtaking it, but the speed is pretty similar, which is kind of concerning. It's finally locked onto something. I, I, I kept wondering what that was. It's this. So it's dealing 15 damage to this vehicle. 15 damage to a vehicle, that's awful. Uh, but it is locking on, as you can see, we have got a lock on and it is on a air vehicle. So it does 10 damage to players, 15 damage to vehicles, which is quite interesting. Do you know that there's 12 bullets? So technically you could do, uh, I believe it's uh, 180 damage uh, with all of the bullets. That's not that bad, but like, yeah, 15 bullets per hit, you're not gonna hit all of them. Like, yes, you get a lot, but this is more linked to kind of a carpet bomb, I think. Just kind of drive by someone and just, you know, go for it. Kind of similar to like bombs with like the Nighthawk. Um, so I don't think you're really gonna really hit hardly any of these 12. This vehicle only has 400 health, so it's, it's really, really easy to take down as well. I feel like if anything, this should have more health. This is definitely not worth the money. The only thing we need to test now is the turret, but I assume it'll be the same as the Cobra, but let's see. Okay, so it's doing 20 damage to that vehicle. 22 actually that time, that's not bad. Uh, 21, uh, 30 damage. Okay, so it's kind of ranging between 20 and 30 at different times. You can see that it's not doing bad. I mean, 10 damage per hit to a player. This turret is not too bad, to be fair. It also has no cooldown, as you can see. I've just been constantly shooting this whole time, and it has been working. And there you go. The kill. So the turret's pretty cool. Stealth mode's pretty cool. The amount of missiles you get is cool, but the health, the speed, the damage the missiles do, all are really bad. And the fact it only locks onto air vehicles is really disappointing, uh, because especially for something like this with a helicopter, if you want to go for a player, you have to drop all the way down. It takes ages to go down, and then you have to start shooting. Uh, but apart from that, it's not bad. It's definitely not worth the 13 and a half thousand piggy tokens. But I guess if you really want it, I understand. If you like it, it's okay. But I 100% recommend the Raider Z even more. I did make a review video on that vehicle. You can check that out in the iCard because I think that's a lot more worth the money than this. Uh, but I understand at the same time with this if you like it. But yeah, I do think it needs a little bit of a buff. I think for damage, for the missiles, and also locking onto everything, I think is necessary for this to actually be worth the price. Thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so we can hit 10,000 subscribers. If you want to check out my previous video, you can click that video up there. We are over seven 
seven glitches that are still in Mad City. They've been in the game absolutely forever. Seven glitches, all of them are really cool. So I recommend you check out that video to learn some stuff to even enhance your Mad City experience. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is CDMD and as always, peace out.